Coming to you from parts unknown, it's Van Scapley, talking comics, graphic design, and art. Sit back and enjoy tonight's episode. Hey, happy Tuesday, my friends. Today, I've got to go get ink cartridges. I have a specific brand of printer, scanner, in which the scanner won't work unless there's ink cartridges in it. I'm not a big fan of this situation. And uh, if I could, I would probably put it in a cannon and uh, shoot it out in the field somewhere. Let's roll. Oh, yeah. This is a cool redesign from 2015. And I took the character Boomerang from Terrific Comics, issues 2 through 5. And I used the character created by L.B. Cole and Alex Schoenberg, Captain Lloyd Riley of the U.S. Intelligence. He becomes the Boomerang. And I wanted to revise and simplify the costume. And I know it looks a bit generic compared to the original. But I started thinking of more of a, again, a modern context. Of how it, would it work dressed in that style now? It wouldn't work. So what I did was I simplified the costume. Made it more, um, I don't know, more um, sleek. I think it's the correct term I'm going to use here. Got rid of the hat. And um, I just focused more on of a, on the uh, the abilities of the boomerang itself. And so here's what I did in this version, my character. He's not boomerang now. He's called Boomerango. His name is Robert Lloyd Riley. He is the grandson of the original boomerang. And he in this version, he can add various chemicals to his boomerang, including sleeping gas, tear gas, smoke, or in the last case, resort nitro so you blow stuff up uh he's very proficient with the boomerang as a weapon itself and he's an expert fighter and since he is the uh grandson i figured he'd also follow in his granddad's footsteps and also be a u.s intelligence agent so that'd be kind of cool to play with that um i try to uh give him more more of a muscular physique but I, I tend to do that with all my characters. But um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this, how it turned out. And I give him a dark costume, so if he's on a night mission, he doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. And also, I kind of darkened it also, so he doesn't look so much like Robin Hood. All right, now on with the video. When I was a kid, that was Kmart. And I got a lot of my first VHS tapes there. Uh, a lot of cool toys were there. And right over there, we sat on a bench and acted silly, <laughs> picking our, our uh, you know, you take the straws and go, <laughs> and this was a drugstore when I was a kid. And then over here was uh, Kroger. And over there used to be a giant Kroger sign. And you can see Kroger's moved down there in the hole now, down in there. And uh, they got rid of that big, it was like a big square cube on a big sign that was on that post right over there yeah right in this area way up in the sky and this used to be full of cars all the time now some stores require that you wear a mask around here in Tennessee and um, this is what I chose because you could rewash it you don't have to throw it away and you don't you know, get tangled up in some poor little turtle or bird or whatever so this is what I wear I wanted to wear something more like this, but uh, I don't think it'd be cool to be dressed like the Green Hornet, or would it? I could go in dressed like the Green Hornet. I had to take back an antenna that didn't work. Uh, if you don't have an antenna in your area, get one. You could probably pick up some cool local TV stations, and they're kind of fun. And it's also fun to fool with antennas, but the one I got didn't quite work. It wouldn't pick up a signal. So, next stop printer ink i have reached my destination now to go get printer ink for the printer that shall not be let named lamed ah! and that turned out pretty good i was able to get a 
uh, store brand cartridge for about half the price. And um, I did realize something, though. My uncle said it. He said it's better to buy, just go ahead and buy a whole other version of said printer from said company. You know, the one I'd like to put in a cannon and shoot out into a field. <laughs> anyway, it comes out cheaper. You get the inks and everything with it. So that's kind of weird. All right, let's go look at some of these cool drawings now. Speaking of cool drawings, a few years ago, I did a team up between the Golden Age Silver Streak and Daredevil with my character, the Grizzly Bear Man, against the Claw. And then I brought in my own takes on the Silver Streak and Daredevil. I put their grandchildren in their place. On the screen you're seeing right now, my uh, uh, version of Silver Streak. I, I kind of kept him thin, uh, give him more of a helmet, some cuffs. They're made of metal. I don't know. I was just thinking like bulletproof. It's too much like Wonder Woman, I know. But anyway, you get the general idea. And um, so that is him. And this happy character is my take on, from 2015, my take on uh, the Fred Larkin version of Lightning uh, from um, Jumbo Comics. And to me, he always seemed like Captain Marvel, you know, the Shazam Captain Marvel. He has all this electrical power and stuff, and the costume was very similar. So what I did is I focused on the electrical powers. And um, I, I thought maybe the belt could be like an adjuster where he can, you know, uh, adjust the power of the electricity that he can emit from his uh, cuffs. You know, you change things. There's so many variations of the characters in these public domain books. You either mix it together or scrap it all and make your own deal. And in this case, I kind of went, uh, you know, combined my own ideas along with those variations within the uh, Jumbo Comics. And uh, that pretty much winds today's episode up. Just want to give you a quick reminder that Monster Magazine number seven is available at Indie Planet. And there's a link below for that, and um, along with a bunch of my comics. So, you know, go check it out. And I'll be adding some more stuff soon. And I thank you very much for watching. Please look after each other. God bless. Take care. Goodbye. Vance Kepley is a self-taught artist who has worked in various mediums, including drawing, painting, and graphic design for over 20 years. He now has his designs here on Tee Public, old school, unique, stylish. He is also available to help you with your original Tee Public designs. Make sure you visit Vance Kepley Art 1972 at teepublic.com. You'll be glad you did.